welcome learners i am dr smriti sikha sotri and today we are going to discuss about sales and distribution so this is the first unit of the course sales distribution and supply chain management and this is for mba fourth semester marketing specialization so uh, today we are going to the f- uh, discuss the first unit of this course uh, which is your introduction to sales management so this unit introduces you to the subject of sales management what is sales management like sales management means managing the sales people effectively and efficiently to increase the sales volume so the learning objective of this unit are first to define the concept and importance of sales management then explain the characteristics and functions of sales management then outline the difference between sales and marketing management and at the end of this unit we will discuss like we will outline the factors affecting sales management So let us first discuss the definition of sales management. Sales management means managing the sales force effectively and efficiently as I have told earlier. So it includes the planning, direction and control of sales people, then recruiting the correct sales people, selecting them, equipping them with all the necessary tools, then assigning them, then providing proper routing to them, then uh, supervising their activities. and paying and motivating the sales people for the uh, perfect work now let us discuss the objective of sales management the first objective of sales management is to increase the sales volume in every organizations main aim is to increase the market share again uh, sales management is responsible for the increase of sales volume sales manager sets goals for the sales personnel and they try to increase the sales as per their capacity then uh, their second objective is to contribution towards the profit of the organization a uh, sales people contributes in increasing the sales volume which ultimately contributes to the profit of the company then uh, the third objective is continuing the growth continuous growth is most essential for any organization to survive because without growth they will uh, like extinct after some time so uh, with the increase in sales volume more profits can be generated and with more profits growth of the organization become su- sustainable now we will discuss different types of selling so the selling process varies according to the nature of the selling task it depends on the type of product which we are selling generally there are three types of a uh, selling involved in this selling process so they are your order takers order creators and order getters first we will discuss what is order takers order takers were those people uh, who respond to already committed customers suppose uh, you have given some order and the uh, uh, sales people will take that order from you that is your order takers then next is your order creators like order creators do not directly receive orders Uh, since they talk to the specifiers rather than the buyers on the other hand order getters they attempts to persuade customers to place an order directly again there are three types of order takers those are your inside order takers delivery sales people and outside order takers and these people are responsible for collecting orders order creators are also known as missionary sales people they convince the customers and creates positive attitudes towards the product or services in customers mind they explain about the product features qualities and what are the benefits customer will get from that product so uh, ultimately customer bec- uh, becomes convinced by their uh, discussion and they purchases the product so finally order getters are either uh, frontline sales people consisting of new business organizational or consumer sales people then sales support uh, sales people who can be either technical support people or maybe sales people or merchandiser now we will discuss different functions of sales personnel so the first function of sales manager is sales planning and budgeting sales manager performs the task of uh, sales planning so what is sales planning sales planning is a process Uh, which involves predicting demand for the product and uh, like demand on the sales assets so planning ensures that when a 
a consumer wishes to purchase a product, the product should be available in the market. It also ensures that the opportunities for additional sales are explored and the sales assets are available to exploit these opportunities. So planning should be allowed for meeting the increasing customer demand for more products, services and uh, uh, customization as the business is growing but should also react quickly when demand decreases. So sales planning uh, improves within the sales process. So what are the things we need to do in sales planning? As a sales manager, he or she should look after whether the product is available in the market, whether the uh, accessories products which make customer may uh, require those were available and then according to the demand of the customers, it sh uh, they should provide the products to the uh, customers. Then another function is estimating demand and forecasting the sales. So the uh, sales manager should estimate the market potential for the industry and sales potential for the company before developing a final sales forecast on which uh, to base all the operational planning and budgeting for their uh, sales force. So if the sales manager can estimate the demand properly, he or she will be able to assign his uh, sales force as per the requirements. Suppose uh, they have done some mistake in that planning then ultimately they, they may be, uh, they will recruit less number of salespeople who are not able to ultimately meet the requirements of the customers. So uh, in this planning stage only the manager should properly uh, estimate the demand and based on that they should assign the required number of salespeople. Then another function is determining the size and structure of the sales organization. It is the responsibility of the sales manager to decide the number of salespeople uh, for the sales organization. The sales manager should decide the job responsibilities of the salespeople, sales forecasting, then budget, how much money they should allot, then territory assignment, like who, uh, which salespeople will look after the which particular territory, then supervision, and sales force performance evaluation, etc. Then another function is your recruiting, selecting and training the salespeople. The sales manager recruits the qualified applicants for the employment. They select the desirable candidates and provide them the necessary training for the job. So uh, once the salespeople are recruited, they should get proper training. Then another function is allocation of sales force efforts and setting sales goals or sales quotas. So to effectively allocate a uh, sales force effort, the sales manager must first design the sales territories and then uh, it should be compared on the basis of sales potential, which in turn decides the individual sales quota. Then another function is compensating, motivating and leading the sales force. A sales manager tries to motivate the sales force through different compensation process. This compensation may be a financial or maybe non-financial compensation. Like financial compensation should include uh, reimbursement of sales expenses and transportation cost. Then non-financial incentives, uh, it may include like use of company car or maybe uh, by a particular office space, secretarial help, and then maybe other uh, company benefits like insurance, retirement plan, health care plan, all those will come under your non-financial incentives to the salespeople. Then another function is measuring and evaluating sales force performance. How a sales manager will uh, measure the performance of a salespeople? Like sales force performance must be measured and evaluated to determine the commissions and bonus for salespeople and sales manager uh, needs to uh, take the decision of their promotion also. So the overall purpose of performance evaluation is to improve organizational profitability by improving sales force efforts. So manager needs to monitor their activities and based on their performance, maybe uh, those who can fulfill the sales quota or maybe who are the achievers who can perform better than others. So based on those uh, criteria, managers provides them incentives and uh, like promotions, etc. Then next is your monitoring the marketing environment. The sales manager should closely monitor the marketing environment. Uh, they should satisfy the target customers 
within a constraints of a continuously changing marketing environment. So uh, this is all about your uh, different functions of sales manager. Now we will discuss the role of sales management in marketing. The top management holds the sales executive responsible for obtaining sales volume and for uh, handling the sales selling operation so to make a uh, make him or her contribution uh, towards the profit and to help in the growth of the business sales managers have uh, broad responsibilities they recruit the sales people they train those sales people they provide reasonable goals and they motivates them to uh, achieve their targeted results they coordinated the uh, personal selling operations with other marketing activities. So now we will discuss specific roles and responsibilities of the sales manager. First one is a sales manager is responsible for meeting the sales target of the organization through effective planning and budgeting. Next, the sales manager should have proper coordination with the sales executives and sales uh, representatives. Then the duties must not be imposed on anyone. Instead, it should be delegated as per the interest and specialization of the individuals. A sales manager must understand who can perform a particular task in the most effective way. A sales manager devises strategies and techniques necessary for achieving the sales targets. He or she uh, is the one who decides the future course of action uh, for his team members. Then it is the sales manager's duty to map potential customers and generate leads for the organization. A sales manager is also responsible for brand promotion. Like uh, suppose you have a new product, then this is the responsibility of the sales uh, people or responsibility of the sales manager to promote this particular brand in the market. Then motivating team members is one of the most important duties of a sales manager. He needs to make uh, his team work as a single unit working towards the common goal and develops lucrative incentives like uh, different monetary benefits or non-monetary benefits for the uh, better performance of the salespeople. It is the sales manager's duty to ensure his team is delivering desired result like supervision is essential in uh, every state the sales manager should uh, track their performance make sure like each one is uh, performing properly in the organization so a sales manager is responsible for not only selling the product but also maintaining and uh, improving the relationship with the client as a sales manager one uh, should maintain necessary data and records for the future reference now we will discuss the sales management strategy like every organization will have their own strategy for business so creating a sales management uh, strategy is one of the easiest way to increase the revenue and profitability in the organization so responsibilities of sales managers should include building the uh, right sales strategy then hiring the right uh, team then creating the right compensation plan and territories and uh, like deciding the right uh, quota for them then setting the right projections motivating their team then tracking revenue against goal then resolving any conflict if there exists between the sales people then providing proper training and coaching uh, sales representatives managing the entire process and ultimately getting the sales for the company now we will discuss the relationship between marketing and sales management uh, whether marketing and sales management is same or uh, it is different so marketing is a broader concept compared to the sales management sales management is a part of marketing like sales management involves a specialized set of responsibilities and activities within the larger field of marketing management the marketing concept holds that the key to successful and profitable business rest with identifying the needs and wants of customers and providing products and services to satisfy them again in case of uh, sales orientation the main issue here is not how to produce but having products and to ensure that the products are sold 
so an organization's marketing team usually consists of two basic groups one is your field sales force and another one uh, is the marketing team who uh, sits in the headquarters so in contrast to the sales force personnel who are out uh, in their territories with customers the headquarters marketing people they provide support and service functions that can significantly help the sales manager in performing his or her job so the uh, supports includes advertisement then uh, sales promotion then sales aids trade shows product publicity marketing research forecasting the market demand then development of any other activities and then maintaining the public relation etc so therefore it is uh, essential that uh, to get optimum business sales and marketing functions should be integrated therefore by establishing friendly cooperative relationship uh, with the headquarters marketing managers sales manager may obtain extra support and service to improve the sales force performance now we will discuss a uh, different factors which affects the sales management there are several factors which uh, make the sales manager's job more complex so now we will discuss those first one is your intense foreign competition because of this globalization the sales people face competition not only from the domestic market uh, they also face competition from the foreign market so uh, they need to have knowledge about their products as well as competitors product also very well then another factor is your rising customer expectation now consumers have become more and more aware about their needs and wants so they they knows their requirements and they have become less tolerant of product and services limitations so if they don't like uh, your product they might shift to other products then uh, another factor is your increasing buying expertise like buyers are becoming increasingly skillful at obtaining value for their money therefore the seller must try to build a long term relationship of trust respect and understanding with the buyer because for same type of products if the customer didn't like your behavior they might shift to your competitors product so maintaining a good relationship with your customer is very essential then another factor is your uh, revolution in computer technology and communication now the world has become digitized so a sales manager cannot afford to miss out on this revolution because it offers great opportunities to win competitive advantage with customers among the important technological innovations for sales management are uh, portable desktop computers where they will get the information for the entire world then video tape presentation video conferencing mobile communication equipments and electronic sales force uh, sales offices etc so are uh, these factors influences in our uh, sales and marketing and these are very essential for the sales people so they need to uh, like have proper direction uh, while performing their sales task so we have come to the end of this unit now let us sum up whatever we have discussed in this unit so in this unit we have tried to discuss in detail about sales management its meaning and managing the sales force then uh, it is very challenging profession the top management organization they sets goal for the sales manager and sales manager directs the sales people uh, to achieve their goal the major problem in sales is the lack of effective sales management process so uh, through a systematic sales management process a company can increase their sales volume sales uh, managers they plan lead and control the personal selling activities of an organization although sales managers responsibilities of the sales manager vary widely across companies their basic duties are to prepare sales plans and budget then set a uh, sales force goal and objectives then estimating the demand forecasting the sales then recruiting the proper sales people selecting and providing training to them and ultimately evaluating the performance for the sales personnel and providing incentives to them uh, based on their performance so sales people are also responsible for uh, sale of goods and services then we have discussed about the role of sales manager in um marketing 
and then we have discussed the difference between marketing and sales management and at the end of this evening we have discussed different factors which affect the sales management so till today we have discussed this much hope you have understood this thank you and see you again